friend. Sup? Me friend. Me 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 me. Hey friend. Go. Hey. Hey friend, in this supply video, I am going to be talking all about my favorite paint, which is Winsor Newton Professional Level. I have 12 colors that I use on the reg, which are in this palette here. Um, I also, well, I only use this palette really. This is just for pretties. Um, but I've had this palette since basically day one of me painting, not day one, but around day one of me painting in watercolor. Um, and so there's some colors in here that I don't use anymore, like a couple of greens. I have the same yellow in three different dishes. I don't use that color. So there's a couple colors in here in addition to the 12 that I use that will be linked below. So if you're like, there's more than 12 colors in her palette, I don't use them anymore. Um, but I've honed in the ones that I really, really love. I love mixing them and coming up with new colors, as you can see in my palette. And the fun thing about watercolor is, whoops, that was still a little bit wet. Um, but the fun thing about watercolor is if you mix up a color and you're mixing well and it dries and you decide you want to paint with it again, like a few hours later or the next day, you can add a little wetness here and revive the color and you can still use it. That's brilliant and amazing and very economical of watercolor to do that. So um, I love working in watercolor. I love Winsor Newton's pigments to the moon and back. Um, they're incredibly rich and bold and vibrant and juicy. And uh, if you're using their professional level series of colors versus the student level or Cotman, um, there's less binding agent in the tube of color, and so you get a really nice richness. You also are able to achieve wet and wet painting with a lot more ease. You can still do it with the student level colors, but it's just a little bit more challenging and you see a lot more hard lines and uh, separating of color and all of that. So that's the reason why I use professional level. I know a lot of watercolorists out there who are incredibly talented and amazing use student level as well. So it's really just all about your particular style and taste as an artist. So make sure to try out a few different types and brands if you want to. Um, but this is what I use on the daily. I really don't go beyond these 12 colors. Um, I have in the past and I just found what I like and I'm sticking to it. Um, so the 12 colors will be linked below. Um, but I'm just going to go through each of them and show you kind of the range that you get with this, these types of paints in this series and with professional level. Um, you don't just get one color and one shade. You get a really wide range and depth of value within one color. Um, and so for example, I'm going to roll my brush around on Opera Rose. This is one of my favorite colors by Winsor & Newton. It's like a bright neon pink. Um, it's a color you can't mix up by hand, and so I like to buy these more non-traditional colors in tubes, and I like to set them out in separate dishes in my palette and let them dry overnight. Um, the reason why I'm not using paint straight from the tube is because it's more likely that you're going to waste paint, um, because you really don't need a lot of pigment and, for it to go a long way. Um, and a lot of the time when I'm working with straight up wet paint, you just kind of grab too much paint and it wastes the paint. Um, but if you are painting on a larger scale, a piece of paper or canvas or whatever, um, using paint straight from the tube is fine. Um, another question that I get a lot is why do I buy individual tubes instead of the pre curated, I guess, pans of color by Winsor & Newton or whatever brand. And the reason for that is I really like these 12 colors and I want to make sure that I only get these 12 colors and these specific 12 colors. Um, and those pre-made sets of pans uh, usually have other colors in there that I would never use or they don't have all the colors that I want. And so that's why I use um, just buying the separate tubes, squeezing them out into an individual dish and I let them dry overnight. So I'm working with really uh, saturated uh, pure pigment that's been dried so I don't waste it. So I've just got a good amount of color on my brush from Opera Rose and I'm just going to show you what this 
color looks like in full strength. It's a really nice and rich, vibrant pink. And if you were able to get really, really close to the stroke, you would see that it's not grainy, grainy at all. Um, it's a really, really smooth coverage. And I can also release some of that pigment in my water cup and get even more depth out of this color. And just doing a value scale can show you just how light you can go while still keeping the vibrance or the strength of the pigment. It's just making it more transparent, which looks lighter. So as you can see, we've got a full range of values within one tube of paint. Um, and this is just from dried color in my palette. And so I just grabbed a little bit of the pigment, soaked it up on my brush, and then dragged it out with adding more and more water to my brush. You don't get that grainy separation of pigment and water and binding agent that you would with student, student level paint. Um, it's a really, really nice color by Winsor & Newton. I highly recommend trying this color out. Another one of my favorite colors is Scarlet Lake. It's kind of like an orangey red color. So instead of your more traditional red, like fire engine red or cherry red, it is a really nice, almost corally red color, which I love for painting florals. And again, with this color, you get a lot of depth with it and a lot uh, more than just a dark red and a light red. You can, with any color really, out of this professional level Winsor Newton, you can get a lot of depth and range with one color because they're so good. All right, so now let's move into some of the blues, like this Thalo Turquoise. I love this color. You don't need much pigment on your brush for it to be really dense and saturated. Really amazing blue for oceans, for mixing with Opera Rose for a really fun fuchsia purpley color. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. Brilliant. And then Cobalt Blue. This is a dope color, super unique and fun to mix with other colors. I love using this color similar to this one with pink um, and showing those colors mixed together, which I'll do right after this. And they stay mixed really well. That's another thing with certain colors from certain brands. Um, they just don't, they're not strong enough to stay mixed with certain colors. Um, and that's just normal and it happens with some pigments. Um, but this cobalt holds really well when it's mixed with other colors. The last color I'm going to show you is Prussian Blue. This is my all-time favorite color from Winsor Newton. All of these are amazing colors, all 12 of them. Um, but I'm just going to show you these five and then I'm going to show you how they mix together as well. All right, Prussian Blue can be a really dark when you have enough pigment on your brush for full strength can be a really dark like midnight blue and it just has a really nice range of values the more transparent it gets
One thing I love to do with these colors is use my empty-ish mixing wells and just see what kind of depth and range I have with different blues mixed with different warm colors, etc. Let's say you wanted more muted colors, but you didn't want to just dull it by adding black or mute it by adding black. You can add the colors contrasting color or complementary color. So in this case, blue, we would add orange. So I'm gonna grab some of this orange up here. And let's say you just wanted more of a smoky, smoky blue. can do that. Um, but one thing I want to show you is how this aqua rose looks when mixed with some of these blues like cobalt. That's a fun purple. And then aqua rose mixed with phthalo turquoise. There's a lot more phthalo turquoise on this brush than opera rose. So let's see how slightly different that shade of purple is than the one with the cobalt. And how well they're staying mixed. And then finally, Opera Rose with Prussian Blue. Really rich purples, vibrant purples with slightly different hues. Pretty awesome. I mean, isn't that just fun and pretty to look at? It's all just about the color and the quality of paints that you're using. If you are struggling and not enjoying your practice, it could be because of the supplies that you use. I am a firm, firm believer and advocate for just biting the bullet and paying the extra dollars for good supplies. Supplies that you really love because not every artist is the same. Some artists prefer student level paint, some artists prefer the professional level paint and that's really just up to the artist. Um, but for me, I love to see the results that I get from these really amazing vibrant colors. Um, the depth that I have and the range that I have with how transparent they can get um, because of how rich and high quality they are and also how they stay mixed and they don't separate. Some colors do still separate, but you just have to be patient with it, but it's just, it's unmatched. I love, love these colors. And even when you get into wet and wet painting, you're gonna see blending and diffusing of color that just doesn't happen with student level or cheaper quality supplies. So I highly recommend these colors. I highly recommend this brand. Um, all of the links to all the colors that I use are linked below. So make sure you check them out. And if you've worked with these colors before, I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to connect with you on other lovers of Winsor & Newton high quality professional level paints as well. And if you use a different brand, I would love to hear why and what you use and maybe I'll check it out. Make sure you check out our other supply videos on brushes and paper. They're all there for you so that if you're new to watercolor or you're wanting to just try some new supplies out in watercolor, you can check out my videos on them and stay tuned for more tutorial tutorials and fun videos very soon.